One thing was clear. He was the boss. Are you taking over the house? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Put that cookie down. Cookies are for closers. <laughs> I love it. This There's a new boss in this Just crib. Like the Boss Baby comes to theaters Drew, March 31st. Uh, first. The movie baby. stars Alec Baldwin, Jimmy Kimmel, Lisa Kudrow, many others. And joining me today in studio, what a treat this morning, is director Tom McGrath along with producer Ramsey and Nido. Good, Good morning. Thanks for having like us to Tampa. Tampa. What a treat to have you here in Tampa in studio. Welcome to Florida. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's great. Went to an we awesome so. steakhouse. Tampa's beautiful. <laughs> it's a little chilly yeah, right now. Yeah, that's okay. all right, though. Well, glad to have you here. So excited to have this movie out in, in theaters uh, this week. I had a chance to see it. Great job. Aww, so take us you. back, though. This has been, like most of them, years in the making, right? So take us yeah. back to the beginning. This is actually based on a book, a children's book. Yeah, a book by Marla Frazee. It's a little 30 page book and it's really charming about this. Any parent knows this. When a baby comes into yeah. your house, it'll take over your life, boss you around, scream in the middle of the night, hold meetings. And she, it's a beautiful little metaphor. And you know, when we're looking for animated movies, we're trying to find something that's unique and different uh -huh. we haven't seen before. And just like a little baby in a suit just inspired us so much to, to make this epic comedy landscape and, and specifically to tell it through the eyes of an older brother who's getting a baby brother and he's a very imaginative <laughs> child. And uh, you know what, you know, and, and we can poke fun at sibling rivalry. And any, every kid's worst fear that if they get a baby brother or sister, there's not enough love for them. Well, and I was asking you guys if you were parents, you said you, you understand that sibling rivalry a little too much, right? You have a brother. Oh, yeah. You're that, a mom with three little ones. Yes. And um, competition's real. It's tough. Sibling rivalry, competition, yeah, it's it's tough in my house. And you know, when I when I read the script about three and a half years ago, I literally thought it was a, a mirror of my own life because <laughs> my first son was seven when my second son arrived, and he was jealous, just like you know Tim Templeton, and afraid that he was going to get replaced or get less love. And I just you know fell in love with this emotional story and watching these these brothers fall in love with one another and learn the value of family. So, um, yeah. So true. So take us kind of behind the scenes a little bit. And what's interesting, I didn't realize the voices are done essentially first before I maybe, like many others, assume the animation is done first. Yeah, well, well that's how we always work. You know, we, when we put these movies together, we draw them. We draw them like a comic book okay. and we put voices to it and we see if the film's working or not working. We can we can edit the movie and, and cut new scenes before we do any real serious artwork. And then 400 people come on the movie and a lot of animators. But so when we, during that comic book kind mm -hmm. of phase, we record all the actors and that's what inspires the performance. And so when Alec Baldwin would come in. When you know, was he decided with, on this though, by the way? Cause you talk about getting a baby in a suit and then you put Alec Baldwin's voice to it and it's, that's, that's magic. Yeah, when you see a baby in a suit, you're trying to think like who'd make a great voice and Alec <laughs> was the first one that came to mind, actually six years ago. And fortunately he was our first and only choice and he agreed to do it. And then when we cast the movie, we, we listen to actors' voices if they're really distinctive and unique, and they have to be great comedians, actors, mm -hmm. Lisa Kudrow, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, Steve Buscemi. Okay. And they all have really distinctive, unique voices. And so, so we do all that beforehand, and then the animators listen to it, and we talk about the performance. Mm -hmm. And it, it really, their, their acting inspires everything that comes after that, including color, lighting, everything. Talk about how technology has changed too and kind of where, you know, the the movies and, and kind of what you guys are able to do now. I mean, it's crazy how real things look these days and how fast the technology is going. Yeah, yeah, and we we intentionally didn't want to do a realistic mm -hmm. movie because we, we grew up when you went to an animated movie like in the 70s mm -hmm. and 80s and it was really artistic and magical and you felt like you were transported to this this world of art. And so we didn't want to do realistic at all. We wanted to do cartoony, like the like what we grew up on. Yeah. And so we really worked hard. It was one of our biggest challenges to make it feel like a painting and mm -hmm. feel like the animation that we grew up with. Yeah. Well, job well done. Ramsey, talk about your role in kind of this movie and kind of what you were able to help to, to piece this together and what you had most fun about putting this together. Well, I've known Tom for 20 years. We've always wanted to work together, and this was the the film. And I, I had such a uh, a personal relationship to the film because because it's a story about brothers and brothers learning, um, you know, how to love one another. But um, you know, my you know, 
the movie takes place at a time when there was no cell phones and no iPads. Well, you know what? You're right. That's true. I yeah. think I picked up on that. And it really defined Tim's character, and you know, he's he's a boy with an extraordinary imagination, and with you know, and and you know, he fantasizes, and you know, and um, it, it, you know, my. Um, I feel like we were able to take this movie to places that we haven't seen before. But my connection to the movie was always an emotional one, mm -hmm. being a mother, and you know, and coming back to that place and following these boys, you know, yeah. learning to love. So. Well, I love that as a mom, too. I told you guys, I took my little ones to see it, and my son, who's three, this was his first movie, his nickname is now the Boss Baby. Oh, yeah. He was a lot of work. Yeah. It's always, they're little dictators, right? The little ones yeah. they can be. Yeah. yeah, and you know, I have a brother myself, and uh, he's two years older. Like okay. your kids are All right. you're pretty similar. So you were the Boss similar. Baby. Oh, yeah. I was, and you know, and you know, I mean, you see, you know, they're, they're, mm -hmm. you're, they're best friends, and then they're yeah. their worst enemies together. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, living under one roof can be very tumultuous. And yeah. My brother and I came out the other side as adults um, loving each other, and that's the strongest bond on the planet. And so for me, uh, this is my 50-year yeah. apology letter in the making <laughs> to my brother for torturing him. I and love and it. so, uh, you know, I've yet to watch it with him. But Yeah. Before oh. we wrap up, I have to, can we get a voice from you? Because obviously that's your other love and passion, too, of, um, of the voices <laughs> as well, the acting. Uh, Oh, I don't know if they know the character Skipper the Penguin. Yes, yes, Gaspar. absolutely. Every, yes. Yes. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. <laughs> Gussie Boss Baby. Por favor. He's watching it, right? Huh? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Enjoy your, your time here in Tampa. Again, what an honor to have you in studio. Everybody needs to go see it again. It, uh, it's this weekend opening in theaters. Thank you, thank you. Job well done. Thank you yeah, for having thank us. You thank for you for having us. Are you we working love on your Tampa. next one, by the way? Uh, We're going to see in a couple years? Well, you know, you deliver one baby, and then you can <laughs> Wait a little bit Everybody asks, the, the, the first one's here, when's the next one coming? Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Again, the, the film uh, debuts this weekend.